Hi, good morning. In this session, we are going to discuss about the static testing, dynamic testing, verification, and validation. About these four important terminologies, we are going to discuss. Okay, earlier we discussed about the waterfall model, V model, right? Next, we are discussing about here static testing, dynamic testing, verification, and validation. Okay. First one, very static testing. We'll see what is the meaning of static testing. Without executing a program or application, finding mistakes is called static testing. Without executing a program or application, finding mistakes is called static testing. Let us assume that I have one program is written here. So in this program. Without executing, okay. By reading the line by line, if I have the programming knowledge, by reading the line by line, we try to find the mistakes. So this kind of testing comes under static testing. So this kind of activity where we are going to call code walkthrough, we are going to call code walkthrough. Okay. So that is a programs level. Application level also we can do static testing. What is an example here I given? Check availability of components in login.salesforce.co homepage. That means, if I go for this page, I want to check availability of components like username, aid box available or not, password, aid box available or not, login available or not, remember me, component available or not. Like this expected components are available or not. I'm not doing any action. Just I'm going to observe that. This kind of thing also comes under static testing. Okay. Now the static testing is without executing a program or application, finding mistakes is called static testing. Other example also I given here, review on the documents, if requirement documents are there. When we do review on the requirement documents, in order to find the mistake, that kind of activity comes under static testing approach. Okay. Next one, dynamic testing. What is meaning of dynamic testing? Static testing, what we said, without executing. Now, while executing, Program or application finding mistakes comes under dynamic testing. If you said without place, you have to say that while executing. That's the dynamic testing. While executing a program or application, finding mistakes is called dynamic testing. Now I said earlier one program is there without executing by reading the line by line. We try to find the mistake. That is comes under static testing. Now what I will do here, same program I will going to run. And I'm going to observe that expect output is coming or not. By executing that program, when we are going to check expect output is coming or not. This kind of testing where we are going to call dynamic testing. So other example, source code level like this. Another application level you can say like this. Check click on cancel button. Will redirect to home page or not. So this is the application I have. Okay. In this space, if I click on this cancel button, will it go to the home page or not? I want to check. So this kind of testing, how we can know that we have to click on this. That means some action we need to do and we need to see the behavior. See when I click on cancel. So redirect to login page as it is as. So this way when we are going to the testing that is comes under that is comes under dynamic testing. Okay. Dynamic testing. While executing a program or application, finding mistakes is called dynamic testing. So, example, check click on cancel button, will redirect to home page or not. Other example, functional testing. Now, I, I which software I'm using for the meeting purpose here, Zoom I'm using. So, this in this Zoom, recording is possible or not. Sharing my skin is possible like this when we are going to test those activities also comes under dynamic testing. 
like this one. That is a static testing, dynamic testing. Right, next. Verification and validation. Interviews point of view, very commonly they are going to ask, what is the what is difference between static testing to dynamic testing? Same way, explain the difference between verification and validation. So when you talk about the verification validation, what you need to remember the simple way is a V model diagram, which I explained in the previous recorded session. So whatever reviews we are going to do here during the up to coding level at this level, so those all comes under verification activities. After coding, whatever testing activities are there like unit testing, integration testing, system testing, and the user acceptance testing, those are comes under validation activities. Okay. Now, what is verification? What is validation? We'll see. Verification. Verification is a process to check are we developing the system right or not? Are we developing the system right or not? So generally, verification comes under static testing approach. So verification comes under static testing approach. Where we do this kind of verification activities, please. So we can go for the on requirement documents, we can do verification activities. On design documents, we can do verification activities. On source code, we can do verification activities with the intention to find mistakes. Okay. Where do perform verification activities means on requirement documents, design documents, and source code. We can do this kind of verification activities. Next one. What are the techniques are there for the verification? We have the peer review, walkthrough, and inspection are the verification techniques. Peer review, walkthrough, and inspection are the verification techniques. Now, what is peer review? walkthrough and inspection. Peer review is one kind of informal meeting. It is one kind of informal meeting where author provides the document to any one person to identify mistakes in that document. That we can say a review between same level people or colleagues. This kind of activity where we are going to call peer review we are going to call it peer review it is an informal meeting where author provides a document to any one person to identify mr author means so who prepared the document the document will be given to the other person third person to identify the mistakes the second one walk through it is semi informal meeting it is a semi-informal meeting where author will give the presentation to the reviewers in order to identify the mistakes. Okay, so walk through it is semi-informal meeting. The participants come to the meeting without any preparation where author gives the presentation. In this case, in this case, author himself is the presenter for explaining the project. Okay. So in it is planned meeting characterized by the team of two to three people led by the author. Led by the author. The objective of walkthrough is Object of walkthrough is to make other participants to get knowledge on requirements and to find any mistakes. That is the intention why we go for the walkthrough. Same thing, not only on document, on source code also, they can do this kind of activity. But the third one we have inspection, it is a formalized meeting.
So five to six members are going to participate. This meeting led by the moderator, who is the manager for the meeting. So to explain about the document, third person is going to be involved. There's a presenter we are going to call. This time author is not going to explain. So walk through, author is going to explain. Okay. Record or scribe records the records the defects which are identified in that meeting. Objective is to find any defects. Objective is okay to find any defects and communicate important work product information. like this next one validation what is validation it is a process to check are we developed right system or not It is a process to check are we developed a right system or not. It is a dynamic testing approach. It is a dynamic testing approach. Where we are going to perform this kind of dynamic testing, it is performed in application source code. Programs level we can do by executing the programs. Similar way, on application functionalities also we can do the validation activities what are the techniques comes under validation is unit testing integration testing system testing and user acceptance testing are the validation techniques these are the validation techniques but this is one of the important question who is going to perform the verification who is going to the validation activities so verification is implemented by developers, testers, and the quality assurance team members, depending on the project activity. One simple example I will ask you here. Test cases, once you prepared, will you do the review on that before going to use the test cases which you prepared? Definitely we have to go for the review on the test cases in order to check what are the test cases are prepared? Those are correct or not? Those are sufficient or not to validate your application? So whenever we do review on test cases, that is comes in a verification activity. Test cases execution comes under dynamic testing validation activity. It is test cases review review on test case. Who is doing the review? Test engineers. So same thing. Developer it is a program. If they do review on the programs, that is verification activity. Then we based on the project activity, the persons are going to be changes. Verification is implemented by developers, testers, and the quality assurance team members, depending on the project activity, on what document they're doing the review, based on that it is going to be. Maybe quality assurance team define the development process. They do review the different process correct or not. Is there any weakness in that process? That is also comes in a verification activity, right? Next, validation. Validation is implemented by testers. So there are two kinds of testers, white box testers are there and the black box testers can do this kind of validation activity, okay? So the important concept from here, what we discussed here, so static testing, dynamic testing, so verification and validation, right? So this concepts which I explained, so if you need any other subject, other information, try to provide the comments so that I'm going to upload the related topics also, okay? So in the next session, we are going to discuss about the Agile methodology, one of the latest one, more popular one in software testing interviews also. So that we are going to discuss in the next session. Thank you, bye.